Hello, hello, hello. Something small today to share with you and it's not exactly new. This is brand new but it's not a new release. But uh, I um, watched with interest when it was announced and uh, I thought, okay, it could be a, an interesting proposition and that's what made me spend my money on this tiny small thing here. This is the palm. Can you see it there? The palm. This is uh, Alcatel, made by Alcatel. And Alcatel, I think, is uh, w uh, maybe originally French, but I think it's all under the one um, uh, Chinese company now. And I think it's the same company that make Nokia, or uh, maybe not Nokia, but uh, own some other, like Blackberry and some other... Uh, trademarks they own as well so uh, it's ostensibly a Chinese company and they released this uh, Wii phone I think it was last year probably near the end of the year and uh, is it worth your consideration so spec wise it's 3.3 uh, uh, HD screen actually it's 1280 by 720 you know, so for the size of the for the size of the screen the resolution is really good and I think it is a pretty decent screen to be honest um, I, for the size of it I think it is very sharp uh, so I think it's a really decent um, screen it has an octa-core processor it's a Qualcomm 435 it's not particularly powerful uh, this one is 3 GB of RAM and 32 GB of internal storage, which is non-expandable, and of course takes one only one uh, SIM card. So this can be bought on. Uh, uh, this came from Jarir actually. This one, so um, you might find it cheaper. And there were some offers on it. It was quite expensive initially. I got it slightly cheaper. There was a special offer. I think I saw it originally at 999. Then it went to 799 then I think 700 and something and now it's back I, I just checked today it's back up to 799 um, 12 megapixel and 8 megapixel cameras and uh, it's running Android 8.1 and it's uh, it's got a slight it's not got a skin but it's the way that the Android is kind of laid out to make it easier for such a small phone I mean you can see I mean how small that is in my hand now it has an 800 mAh battery and most probably that is its Achilles heel because I'm just trying to think uh, look, I like any kind of gadget, that's why I bought it, and I actually don't mind this at all. And if you look on uh, YouTube, you will see many reviews, and people, for the most part, don't mind it. But what the the biggest gripe is the uh, is the battery. So you know there is a, a real. It's um, you can put it into kind of extreme power saving mode, and uh, then. Uh, you can obviously save some of the battery, but if you're kind of just using it on a day, to, on a on a normal kind of day, if you've got really good eyesight, uh, this battery is probably not going to last uh, longer than eight hours, and could be it, it, it could be less. I mean, it's relatively quick to charge. I'll give it that less than an hour full charge. So oh, it's definitely something that one would consider when it, or if you were purchase, want fancy uh, to purchase it. And that kind of brings us to the, well, what is the point of it? Um, well, what is the point? I remember I had uh, a Sony, no, it, wasn't, it was an Ericsson phone. So I think it was about the same size of this. I was really proud of it because at the time it was one of the smallest uh, cell phones uh, that you could buy and um, this is when the smaller the cell phone was the better it was instead of uh, now the bigger you know um, uh, the better it is so uh, it re kind of reminds me of, of that now on um, day to day I, I took my sim card out of it um, but I, I was using it for a few days and again I didn't really have any uh, problems with it now you just uh, when you're um, looking at uh, typing 
So, um, if you were to, let me see. Of course, you can use Google Assistant, but you'll see here. I mean, the keyboard is quite small, and but once you can, and I've got big fat fingers but once you kind of get used to that keyboard it's actually not bad so once you kind of get used to it and, and know really how the what's the best area to press the keys it's really not that bad but of course it would be easier for people with slightly smaller hands and fingers um, so on a day-to-day -day kind of uh, use if I have my glasses with me and yeah I don't think it was that bad I mean really you can um, uh, it's very small you can easily uh, secrete it anywhere and uh, uh, quickly kind of have a wee look here and there if you don't want to make it so obvious that you're checking your status all the time and I believe in America it was being kind of sold as a companion a companion to your main phone in that the thinking was that this would distract you less if you were going take going out and really didn't want to be seen to be on your cell phone a lot this was uh, to kind of uh, distract you so you wouldn't be checking on all your social media while you were out say excuse me with your date i had a late night last night with your date then uh, this was kind of not to distract you. I'm not sure that that argument or that reason is or that is a good, a great, particularly great set, uh, selling point. It is a wee bit slippy as well. Um, I'm I'm just not sure. I think perhaps where this might be of more use is say for uh, kids. If it was a bit cheaper and and because um, you're kind of giving them a smartphone, but. It's slightly limiting in the the, uh, <laughs> the size of it. So, you know, for people like me who like gadgets, yeah, um, for your, uh, it could be something as a backup phone. Again, it's not got a great battery life. Uh, and, and maybe, you know, it, if I was a kid and I was given this, I'd be really happy. Um, uh, it's... Uh, your phone has no SIM card installed, so I can't help you with that at the moment. Thank you. Um, hey, Google. Hey, Google. Seeing if it was opening there for you. Why um, it, it started speaking, I don't know. So, uh, I'm just trying to re really think of the, the uses that uh, it well what really you could use it for so I just if the battery with life was bigger then yeah definitely you could uh, you could say my backup phone keep it in the car and uh, blah blah um, if you're uh, in prison I suppose you could hide it in certain areas um, I don't know what uh, really uh, I know that when it was rumoured that the, there was going to be a, a resurrection of the Palm, the Palm name, that uh, people were thinking about the Palm Pilot, and uh, you know the people have a lot of uh, good memories of that uh, and and stuff. So uh, and and then when the reality uh, came and it was this very small phone, I think a lot of people were kind of um, they weren't very happy. Uh, so. It is really a, a, a niche um, that this phone is going to serve, and and again, it wouldn't be something that I could use on a on a daily daily basis. But I could see me using it. I'm not saying that I wouldn't, and certainly a lot of people have more than one number. Maybe you'd want to keep this as your second uh, number uh, for whatever reasons, especially um, if you were at work and, and you have a work number and a, a, your obviously own personal number and you want to kind of keep them separate, then yeah, okay, maybe I could see it. Um, but I, I'm just struggling to think of any, any other... Um, just any other uses for it other than it's small and it and, and I mean it feels built it's nicely built it's a bit slippery um it just feels uh, nicely built it's like a small 
uh, iPhone uh, 10 in its uh, shape and I remember I view uh, maybe it was it last year or the year before I had um, like a Chinese mini phone I think it's called a Soyuz or something but well, this is miles better than that so and I remember when I uh, uh, reviewed it I think a lot of people watched that video and then when I sold it there was a lot of people who were interested in buying it so uh, uh, you know, there's definitely a, uh, some kind of market out there for a small phone I just don't think that this price if I'm going to sell this and I might sell it and I'm going to have to reduce the price uh, I, I just think that that price is just a real hard sell for people um, and uh, if I don't sell it then I'll, I may give it to my my kid and see how uh, she gets on with it um, and yeah well that's about it uh, I, I really uh, just I'm, why I bought it in the first place was just because I wanted to see it and um, I had some extra cash so and, I, and you know, I'm happy enough that I did that. As I say, it's, it was unusual and a bit of a challenge using it for a couple of days. Uh, phone calls and, and stuff like that were fine. As I say, it's got a really good screen. It's got a really good high definition screen for the size for the size of it. So um, I'm, it's not all negative. Um, the camera is fine. I'm, I'm not going to say much about the camera. It's better than some and not as good as others is about what I can uh, really um, uh, kind of say. So that has been my thoughts, my pontifications of the, the Alcatel, and I'll put it in my palm, palm. And uh, just a reminder for everybody to uh, wash their hands and, and stay safe during these uh, trying times. Um, any questions, whatever, I'll do my best to answer them in a timely fashion, if at all. Uh, so wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. And that's the being the Alcatel Palm. Stay safe. Bye.